year 2020 has most of the times made us feel hopeless and powerless. But as the quote says, everything lies within your power and the power lies within you. We all must use some strategies to re-strengthen the power of our mind during the pandemic situation. One of the best ways to de-stress ourselves is to reignite our creative abilities. So draw, paint, write a poetry or story, or do anything that utilizes your creative skills. This will surely make you feel happy and rejuvenated. Practicing gratitude can also do wonders. When you feel thankful for the things that you have, it will really nourish your mental and spiritual well-being. So make a list of all the things that you have, the home in which you are living, your parents, other family members, the food that you get to eat. Feel thankful for everything. Mental fitness is as important as your physical fitness. Here I am to share a few tips on how to maintain a mental fitness. Number one, move to your level of vitamin B. It is essential for healthy brain function. Number two, meditate each and every day for a few minutes. Number three, engage in healthy and peaceful conversation. Number four, Read widely and read often. It helps your brain to exercise and improve your mental fitness. Number five, take the time out of your busy schedule to relax. Exercising has proven to reduce the effect of stress and anxiety, but it may not be enough to the changes caused to our body by COVID-19. This pandemic is the cause to our messed up routine, which can be harmful towards our body. And to maintain this, we need to maintain our fitness routine, which helps us beat this pandemic. Be in charge of your mind. Make it so that you are the only one who affects your thinking and your thought process. No matter what the media says or what the people around you are saying, you are the only one who affects your thinking and you should think positive. Think of this as an opportunity for change. It is a time when you can focus on yourself and the things and people that matter without any interference of any external forces. You can pick up new hobbies and enhance the ones you have already. Hello everyone, I'm Monica, mother of Mitali Singh from class 10. It's almost end of the year and the COVID-19 pandemic is still around. We are suffering with coping the prolonged period of social distancing and sheltering at one place. One of the most effective ways to reduce stress and encourage yourself is to pick up a new hobby. Hobbies are best to release stress and improve your home environment. It keeps you happy and satisfied. Meditate. We all know that meditation can help with stress relief. But who has tried it seriously? I think this is the time we should take honest efforts to practice meditation on a daily basis. Connect with friends. Due to the global pandemic, gatherings are discouraged. You can't meet with your friends freely. But yes, as we are doing everything virtually, we can hang out with our, with our friends virtually. Get enough sleep. Lack of sleep is one of the main contributions to stress. So, you need to make sure that you get adequate sleep to lower your stress levels. You need to take care of your mental health, especially during the pandemic. By incorporating a few changes in your life, you can help yourself deal with stress effectively. Thank you for listening.
good morning to respected teachers and teachers. Today, my topic of presentation is exercise and celebration of what your body can do, not a punishment for what you take. Falling in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit, you have to make yourself a priority. At the end of the day, you are the longest commitment. It is not being selfish. You love yourself, take care of yourself, and make happiness a priority. It changes your character, and when you build a strong character, you have the power to do anything. Think of exercise as a celebration of your body can do, not a punishment of what you do. And remember, there is no right that you do what healthy people do. There is not one giant step that takes over the dog. It takes a lot of different steps. But today, be thankful and think how you are. Your family is private. Your time is home. Your health is best. Be happy if you are healthier today than you were yesterday. Making better, smarter choices. Better than ever. Any approach that will be given to your different goals. Start today with positive things you have. Remember, you can enjoy life and be healthy at the same time. Fall in love with yourself and you let your food go to that for creating the best. Exercise is a celebration of what your body can do, not a punishment for what you ate. Exercising today is very important to a person's health. Exercise is mainly for cardiovascular fitness. Some people do it because they just enjoy it. Exercising also gently improves your health. There are three good benefits to exercising. Health benefits such as helping weight management, improve your quality of life and reducing the feeling of depression and anxiety. Another benefit is environmental. When people are active, it can contribute to the created healthy environment. Places where people feel comfortable to walk would be safer because more people are out and about. Social benefits is one of the best ways to meet new people while exercising. Exercising too hard is not a good idea. A person should always be at a pace that a person can handle. So we all should exercise for a healthier life. Thank you. Exercise is a blessing, not a chore. We do exercise because we are grateful that we can. With that wonderful quote, I, Mahi Shama, would like to comment my open mic on the topic, exercise is a celebration, not a punishment for what you ate. Exercise refers to the physical activity done on a repetitive daily basis. It helps reduce stress and anxiety from our brains. It also helps our body to relax. Doing regular exercise is really important in one's life. We all know that exercise is important in our daily lives, but we may not know why or what exercise does for us. We all should keep in mind that we have evolved from nomadic herders who spent all the time moving around in search of food and shelter. They travel large distances on a daily basis. Our bodies are designed and have evolved to be regularly active. In the same way that a sports car is designed to go fast, we are designed to move. If we don't take a sports car out for more than four to five days or more than that time, the sports car develops some difficulties and problems in it. In the same way, over time, people too develop problems if they sit down all day at a desk doing nothing and doing minimal exercise. The benefits of regular exercise can be seen easily in a, a person who does regular exercise. If he does, it is very important for a person to be mentally and physically fit. Because we all have heard that quote, healthy mind lives in a healthy body. The death of a body means the death of a mind. So to stay fit and healthy, one must do exercise regularly. But if you are doing it as a punishment and not doing it heartily and passionately, then it is an exercise which is being wasted. No matter what the age, everyone benefits from exercise. So keep that in mind and start exercising from today. Thank you. Exercise is a celebration of what your body can do, not punishment for what you eat. It is a well-known fact that exercise is one of the best ways to stay healthy and to maintain a healthy body weight. So why is it so difficult to stay active when we know how good it is for us? Perhaps it's because we've been viewing exercise all wrong. Negative feelings around exercise start at an early age. 
As we age, exercise often becomes a dreadful item on our to-do list and feels like punishment that we put ourselves through just so we can amount up to what we ate and not look overweight. In our overworked, overscheduled lives, it can be a real challenge to prioritize physical activity. If you struggle with getting daily physical act exercise, then you may be in need of a mindset change. A good start is by looking at your body as an amazing machine and stop looking at exercise as a way of doing something just so you can look as good and slim as your other friends and start looking at exercise as a way of maintaining your body and staying happy, vibrant and healthy. Appreciating your body for all the hard work that it can do after all the work that it already does makes you want to know how far your body can go and how much it can do and definitely makes you want to exercise more and look at exercise as a way of celebrating the limitations of your body and how much it can accomplish. Remember that your body is your own temple. Treat it well. Thank you. It is rightly said that exercise is a celebration that your body can do, not a punishment for what you ate. For a human, being fit and healthy is one of the most important aspects of life. One step towards being fit is to do exercise. But most of the people feel that doing exercise is very difficult and challenging. They feel that they do exercise because they gain a lot of weight by eating a lot of food. But it is not true. If we exercise, we should feel like a celebration for a body to keep ourselves fit and maintain our body shape and not a torture for a body for eating extra. Therefore, if we try to make exercise as a daily habit, then we would enjoy it more than eating. Thank you. Hello everybody, myself Parth Verma from grade 6D. Today, I am here to tell you about Exercise is a celebration of what your body can do, not a punishment of what you ate. Exercise not only changes your body, it changes your mind and your attitude and your mood. Exercise are the tribute to your heart. As we say, a healthy soul lives in a healthy body, which creates positivity around us. And we can attain wonders with the healthy body. We all know that for a healthy heart, healthy body is required and to make our body healthy. It is necessary to exercise regularly and eat healthy. Doing exercise doesn't mean to punishment or to harm your body, but to remain fit. Doing right exercise with the right kind of food is always recommended. Eating right doesn't mean that eat whatever you can digest and which can nourish your body and heart. Healthy food doesn't only impact our physical health but our mental health too. I used to punish myself by doing rigorous exercise beyond what my body needed. For that, I felt guilty about what I had eaten. We feel the need to do exercise to burn everything we ate the day before. This mentality makes one person miserable. The mentality to work out should be to feel good from inside but not only from outside. When this thinking becomes obsessive, it becomes a huge problem. Rather, one should be thinking of keeping her body fit. Thinking constantly about not eating much food, constantly doing diet, avoiding yourself to enjoy precious moments of the life is no way to live. One should experience the moments which life throws at you and enjoy various delicacies and keep a balanced diet. It's rightly said, he who has health has hope and he who has hope has wealth. Thank you. Hello everyone. It is well known that exercise is one of the best ways to stay healthy and to maintain a healthy body weight. So why is it so difficult to stay active when we know 
how good good it is for us maybe we need to change how we feel about the physical activity maybe we have been doing exercise all wrong if you struggle with getting daily physical activity then you may need a mindset change a good place to start is by viewing your body is an amazing machine have a gratitude for your body ability to take you through life and endure everything you throw at it here is one of my favorite quotes exercise is a celebration of what your body can do not the punishment of for what you ate this quote says so much about how we view exercise my challenge is to us is to shift our mindset from punishment to celebration every time you are putting your shoes on to hit the gym think about all the ways that all the ways of your body works for us we often take it granted but if we could th be thankful for all the things our body does not only running and jumping but even breathing and eating the gratitude would be never ending so eat after each workout take the time to thank your body for being there for you exercise is actually better for you when you enjoy it thank you exercise is the celebration of what your body can do not the punishment for what you eat getting fit is just not running on a treadmill for hours in your local gym it can be a dance class or a new hobby like fencing or mountain biking exercise is not only done individually it can be a team or group activity like football or a karate class whatever form of exercise you choose you are certain to meet new people and make new friends some benefits of exercise are exercise increase the productivity and efficiency of a team exercise helps us to gain trust and unity among people exercise also helps us to boost our productivity and concentration level overall whatever work you do that gets you moving or gets your heart rate up is good for you in almost every way feel good and stay healthy good morning everyone i am shudha balocha of class 6a kya banglam world school and today i am going to present my views on the topic exercise is a celebration for what your body can do not a punishment for what you eat as the topic sounds we can say that one should not take exercise just as a medicine when they get ill one should take it as an apple a day keeps the doctor away one apple consumed by you every day keeps the doctor away similarly when you exercise every day it makes you keep healthy and always remember exercise is not mandatory but it is something that one can make as their own lifestyle you should not take exercise as a burden in your life but you should take it something like which keeps you healthy and makes you even very stronger it is something from which you should not run from and if you do so you have to get ready to face the consequences fun fact your soul dances when you meditate and your body dances when you exercise thank you all too often we fear i don't have time to work out if you are too busy to work out then your priorities need to change everyone has to start by wanting a change and then do your best to show up every day for yourself build character it is more than just lifting weights the commitment the dedication the consistency it challenges you and builds character when you build a strong character you have the power to do anything the act of getting stronger and becoming the best version of yourself
doesn't start in the gym. It starts in your head. You know what? You may have to get out of your comfort zone. Not only exercising, but also for eating healthy. Trying some of the foods you thought you didn't like. Getting out of your comfort zone doesn't mean pushing yourself 24-7 that can lead to burnout. What it does mean is we should continuously pushing ourselves to do something better, new and meaningful and challenging which is not always easy. Getting out of our comfort zone can make us better. Fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit. You have to make yourself a priority. At the end of the day, you are your longest commitment. It's not being selfish to love yourself, take care of yourself and to make your happiness a priority. It's necessary. Today, be thankful and think how rich you are. Your family is precious and your time is gold and your health is wealth. Be thankful if you are healthier today and you were yesterday. Making better, smarter choices than before. Feeling better than ever. Any effort you will give will take you closer to your goals. Always think of exercise as a celebration of what your body can do. Not a punishment for what you ate. And remember, there is no diet that will do what eating healthy does. There is no one giant step that does it. It takes a lot of little steps.